Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be um, doing um, my um, fourth um, episode of um, my Minecraft um, Let's Plays and um, today um, I accidentally um, went into the end, for, I built an end portal room back home and um, I accidentally just hopped in it and um, the only way to get out is either to kill yourself or kill the dragon so I suppose we'll kill the dragon because we don't want to lose all the stuff we've collected in the series so far. So that's why we're not starting it in back home. So I'm just going to get a diamond sword here. Um, oh god, damn, this paid them by accident. I'm going to go get a diamond sword, and um, I heard that um, sometimes bows and arrows can hurt the ender dragon, so I'm actually going to go get one now. Well, maybe in a minute, I guess. Because I, I, I heard that um, arrows can hurt the ender dragon pretty bad. So yeah, first of all you have, to, when killing the ender dragon you have to knock out like these little, you should find like these little obsidian towels, oh sorry about that, um, and um, at the top of them there should be like this little crystal thing and you have to break them, they're called um, ender crystals, and then you have to break them, because the ender dragon has this little string coming out its butt. A bit like a spider's web, and um, it connects to the ender crystals, and it gives it powers. So you have to knock out every one of these, because if you don't, then sometimes um, you see the ender dragon wandering off, and it goes out into darkness, and you can't see it, and it's usually got um, a secret one of these that it connects to, so you have to make sure you've destroyed every one. Um, like, um, there's some down here now that we need to destroy, so I'm going to go get those. So yeah, that's why it's important to destroy these if you've never ever killed the Ender Dragon. I'm doing it in creative. Um, even though um this is gonna be a survival let's play, I'm gonna do, be doing stuff like the end. I'm gonna be doing some bits in creative, just some little cheaty bits. Um, just to get some stuff. Yeah, I know I'm cheating. Um, I did it on my first episode um, to get some shears, but um, anyway, I'm killing the Ender Dragon in creative today because um it just so hard in survival mode and i think i've knocked out all of those pillars there so or ender crystals whatever you want to call them or obsidian towers and um so now i'm just gonna go kill the ender dragon basically i'm just gonna go check yeah i think i've knocked out everyone oh I'm, i missed the ender dragon then i'll get a bow and arrow now actually because i heard the arrows hurt him loads um okay um I know it did hurt him quite a bit. Only just a teeny bit though. Um, so, oh, and I could have got him there. He just flew right through, flew right through me. Where is he? I'm, you know, I'm gonna go get my diamond sword out because it's hard to aim because he's constantly moving. I nearly got him. He just missed. I'll try my bow and arrow a bit one more time. Um. Okay, hopefully it'll fire at him. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay, let's go try and get him. Um, I'm just going to stand here and wait till he comes out. When I see him, I'm just going to release. Uh, come on, this is taking ages. I'm okay. Um, so, I didn't hit him. I'm just going to get my diamond sword now. I guess. And oh, some of his health has gone down. Um, I'm also killing the Ender Dragon. Um, so I thought it'd be a bit of fun because in this series, one of my biggest goals in the series is going to be to get loads of XP. Um, and the Ender Dragon, when you kill him, he like ri XP like rains out of the sky, and there's like a portal. You s you get like this little portal that br <laughs> if you hop in, it brings you home, and there's like a little egg on top of it. Um. Uh, so yeah, you can also, that's the Ender Dragon egg, um, and you can collect that and bring it home. Um, it doesn't spawn any, um, Ender Dragons, but it's just like a little ornament. But if you do right-click it, it moves, so I suppose it's like it's baby. It, like, teleports. Um, many people make this mistake on the first time killing the Ender Dragon. They mine the egg with a pickaxe, and it breaks. It, it doesn't drop anything. When, my, when getting the egg, there's quite a few ways of how to do it you right click um, the egg 
The, fir the easiest way is to right click the egg, then place a piston, a, a piston or sticky piston behind it, and then place the redstone torch behind the piston, and that should break the egg. I'm really trying to kill this dragon now. And then you can collect that, and it'll appear in your inventory or hotbar. And, um, yeah, um, there's an also another way, and if you right click it, it should teleport to the ground, then you dig two blocks, blo then you stand next to it and dig two blocks down, then you break, um, the block, um, underneath it, put a torch there, then break the block above, and the other dragon egg falls, and it drops, or you could just, the third way is just to use, is you could use a side instead of a torch, I don't know. My favourite way is the torch way that I just told you. Um, yeah, basically, um, it is the best way. Um, so, oh, my screen's frozen there. For some reason, my screen keeps freezing. Tell me in the comments if um, you, you see my screen freezing or not. Because um, it just keeps stopping and going really quick. Okay, let me just try... I'm actually um, having some, well, die under dragon. I'm actually having some problems with my screen recorder at the moment. When I record something, the sound, like, um, I could be saying in my recording, okay, I'm just going to mine some coal, and I could be in my home getting in bed, and then it could be morning, and I could be saying um, getting in bed at home, because the record is messing up, and no, I'm not accidentally saying stuff at the wrong point. The recorder is messing up because I've had this bug bugs um I think it's only just for me because it's on my computer only that's the only time it's ever happened so I've hypercam and the sound is just playing at the wrong time of the video so what I have to do is um I'm doing this right now but I have to open up sound recorder on my computer and play the video that I recorded no volume and record the sound again and um then I have to um edit it with Put, put the sound in with Windows Live Movie Maker. So, um, it's really a pain in the butt because I have to um, redo the sound. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's try to kill this Ender Dragon now. It's got quite low health. When we get back, um, we should have loads of XP and the Ender Dragon Egg, and I might place it somewhere. I've also made some changes to the house once you were gone. What I've done is um, I've made um, a sheep farm, I've made a dog kennel, and um, I've made um, an end portal room, which will contain all the end portal and that. Um, so yeah. Um, um, let's just try and kill this as a dragon. The end por portal room isn't really done yet, so... Um, I might be able to add some expansions to it. In the next episode, episode 5, um, um, I might actually be able to, um, I'm going to be um, building like a little shed um, and I'm going to put like tools in there, like spare tools in case I need any. Um, so in the next episode I'm going to be making a shed and maybe in episode 6 I might be making a farm or something. So that's my plan for the next few episodes. So in episode six, I'm going to be, be making a crop, some crops and some tree farms. And then um, episode five, I'm going to be building a shed. I'm just trying to find this ender dragon here. He, he's just so hard. Uh, down there. Let's try to get him. Okay. Um, oh, he's there. Oh, no, my screen. Um, okay, let's try and get him. He's he's nearly dead. If you actually spot, I've actually spawned the Ender Dragon in the Overworld before with a, like a little command, and um, this is really strange because in the Overworld he keeps following me, and in the end he just goes wherever he wants, and it's strange. I heard the end is actually in space. The end is like a little spit of sand in the middle of space. Um, 
looks a bit like the moon, to be honest. Just some obsidian towers and dragons. Huh. Where is he? I want this ender dragon dead. Die. Yeah, he's there. We nearly killed him. Oh man, I didn't know where he is now. We've lost him. Oh, he's there. Oh, he's so hard. He's so annoying as well. Oh. Yes, he's here. Let's keep smashing his head in. Okay, um, he's um there. We nearly got him dead. Just nearly got him dead. Um, so yeah. We really need this guy dead. Oof. By the way, um, I might get episode 5 done maybe by today. But, um... Um, I'm going out at one o'clock to go, because I'm going on a walk with my um, grandma, um, um, who lives in Weaverham, and um, I'm staying there till thick six thirty. My brother and sister are having a sleep over there. I'm not. I'm staying home. And the next day I'm going to a hotel, so I might the video might not be back till Friday when I go to the hotel. And oh yeah, we killed we killed the Ender Dragon. Woohoo! So he's dead now. Let's wait till the XP falls and make it survival so we receive it. Okay. Um, got the command wrong there. Let's just try. Uh, game mode survival. There we go. And look at all that XP. Oh my goodness. 50 already. You've got to be joking me. I'm just going to mine down. Um, this is also a good way to collect endstone because I need endstone. Because I'm going to make. As you've seen in, in the um, old episode, um, well, not the old episode, um, in the Nether episode, I made um, the house floor out of Nether. I said I'm, I'm going to be making one side of the house floor out of Netherrack, one side out of um, endstone. That's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be making the house floor out of endstone and netherrack. Because that would look dead cool. And I might actually also put... I'm going to put the ender dragon egg um, as an ornament. And oh my goodness, I just spotted some more XP. Goodness sake. This is crazy. I've got 64 levels already. There's a portal up there, um, which takes me home. So I'm just going to fly up and hop that. And oh my goodness, there's more XP. And we need to get the Ender Dragon Egg now, so how will we do this? We're going to right click it and better hope it doesn't fall um, off the edge. Oh, it could have done then. It could have done. Now we'll just dig two blocks down in survival. And um, let's put that there and we'll place one torch there. Mine that. And there we go, the Ender Dragon Egg. Oh, we need to make some room for a bit. And there we go, we've got the egg. Woohoo! So just power myself up there. Um, and um, now let's hop into the portal. Okay. Um, now this is actually the credits menu. I'm just going to press S to skip this. And goodness, we're back. And um, I'm going to show you some of the changes to the house. And the first thing I'm, I'm going to do is make the floor out of endstone. Since I killed the ender dragon, I'm going to do the upgrade. Yeah. Um, so um, let's get all the endstone we collected and we'll place the floor like that the floor looks nice now because it looks it looks like it's been polished a bit it looks whitened um but yeah we we have a rock and cool house i'm just gonna go to sleep um and um now um i'm gonna put this in here and um i'm gonna get the end dragon egg we might place it as an ornament or something i don't know I think we'll go outside first. 
Oh, I'll show you the end portal room first. Um, it isn't entirely done yet. I need to build like a wall around it, otherwise um, the villagers will get in. So um, you will see that in the next episode. And um, I'm just going to place the ender dragon egg inside um, our house. So yeah, that is the end portal room. I know it does look a bit silly at the moment, but I will. I didn't have time enough time to do the wall on it. So um, yeah. Now I'm just going to place the dragon egg, and whoa, that looks dead cool. It really does. Um, so yeah, you'll see the end portal room done by next episode. Um, now the next room I've built um, is I've built like a huge room or an extension to my house, and it's the sheep room. And there's a bunch of sheep in here. I've dyed them all and I've named them. I'm going to try and open the door without them escaping. Um, no, it didn't work. I think they're all going to escape because they're all looking at me. And no, none of them did. I'm going to show you all my sheep. This is Sheep Sheepy. This is Shalila. That's Sean. That's Fuggle. Um, yeah, Fuggle is a weird name. But I think it's funny. And that one was Barney, the brown one. Um, so yeah, the, those are all my sheep. And I've also got a dog kennel over here. I put the sheep and the dog kennel way apart from each other. Because wolves hate sheep in Minecraft. And since the dog used to be a wolf then. Well, I wanted to keep it away from the sheep. But anyway, he's tamed. And he has a blue collar. I'd have named him Wolfie. And he's sitting there in his dog kennel. What's good about dogs in Minecraft is you can make them sit. You can't do that with sheep or cats or anything. I wish you could make them sit. Um, but yeah, um, anyway, um, that's all the changes I've made to my house, guys. Goodbye. See you in the next episode.